I'm making this video. It's basically how to connect, how or how to properly connect a ring gear to the carrier. Um, so this actually it belongs to a friend, and for some reason, and you know I understand, uh, he's afraid of actually fastening. Uh, the ring gear to the carrier because he he has heard uh, stories that you know this bolt will come off and it will just destroy uh, everything you've built uh, <clears throat> so the way I usually do it and you know my way is not necessarily your way or the right way but that's how I do it and this worked for me for uh, you know since I've been doing this <clears throat> so I use five bolts because the ring gear usually you know it's not connected to the carrier it's you know you have to connect it so what I do I use five bolts and then I align the ring gear to the the holes on the ring gear to the hole on the carrier and I screw this <clears throat> so the idea basically is to pull this just high enough for it to stay in place once I just remove the bolts. There you go. Alright, to, to help the bolts uh, not to come out uh, when with a lot of vibrations, especially in a differential, we use this product all right it's a permatex blue uh, gel or liquid what this does basically just you put it on the on the bolt you put this in place you screw it you torque it down to whatever specification and then it dries and when it dries uh, it just doesn't come out anymore it will come out but you know you'll have to force it and it won't come out with uh, because of vibrations <clears throat> now this thing uh, I call actually permatex and what they say is that it's, it's an anaerobic gel or liquid uh, when you google the word anaerobic definition is that the uh, absence of oxygen so if I put a dab of this thing here and come back in a week, it will still be there and it will still be wet. And the reason is simple, there's plenty of oxygen in my garage. So what you do is you apply this into the hole just uh, I would say well I usually drop uh, uh, I usually put two drops inside the hole and two or three drops on the bolt and yeah then you put this in place you torque it and what will happen is that there will be no more oxygen in in the hole and this will dry they, they say usually the cure time is usually like ideal is 24 hours now <clears throat> let's say you want this to cure uh, faster what you can do I mean I've done this just to test it but I'm never in a rush usually when I when I do this when I put them on, on, on my bolts this will just sit here for two three days you know so I'm it will cure itself it within 24 hours it's all set but let's say you want to go quicker what you do is you take a some sort of a tray a metal tray you put your bolts like this and then you apply two three drops on each bolt and then dump this in a in an oven I actually uh, yeah so you dump it in an oven uh, I would say 150 degrees Fahrenheit about 10 minutes 
and use you use them right away um, I actually did it with this just a hit gun and uh, I, I got uh, I got that result in about uh, I would say two three minutes uh, so heat helps with the curing process so the bolts are ready and what I'm going to do now is take every bolt put it into one of the holes so we have 10 holes 10 bolts right and uh, then with a wrench I'll start to torque it uh, yeah to tighten not torque it down but to tighten the bolts and the way you usually do this is you never go clock or counterclockwise okay so you never do this one then this one and it's, it's always this one and the opposite side so the other side you do this one here and then you jump to this side you do this one here and you jump to the other side uh, so yeah so you just tighten it until this ring gear goes all the way on top then we'll have to torque it down so the bolts are in they're pretty snug I uh, haven't torqued them yet and as you can see the top of the ring gear is pretty flush with uh, the carrier so now we'll torque them and I usually torque this to 100 uh, foot pound of torque uh, and I don't know I'm not going to show the video on how to torque but again it's the same uh, same thing so if you do this one then you jump to the other side to do this one then you come and do this one and then jump the other side and again never uh, clockwise or counterclockwise all right so that's it all right so every bolt has been torqued down 100 foot pound again if you remember you do this one and then go to the opposite side like this here then there and so on so that's it i mean in my case this is going to sit here for a few days and then i'll call my friend for him to come and pick it up that's it guys thank you bye